Hello everyone, these are my 254 engines, uh, I mean two, uh, 454 engines right there, Mer Cruiser, uh, straight shaft, this is sitting on a C-Ray 33 foot, right, so what happened was that I had a little overheating problem, right, this engine here was running hotter than this one, and uh, it turned out to be my thermostat. You know, I looked at my risers, I took all these apart, everything looked great in there. So before going any farther, I started, I, I figured that I would take my thermostats off. And uh, this right here was my old thermostats. Right now they're a little bit cleaner because banging them out of there, they kind of cleaned up a little bit, but it was locked on a closed position because it was all built up right there. So that was my overheating issue right there. Now I send this back to my uh, bolt guy. He sent blasted everything, and he just sent it back to me. And um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys how am I fixing this because I'm not a professional mechanic whatsoever. I just uh, do the work myself, and if I wasn't doing the work myself, probably I couldn't afford to have this bolt, right? So sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But so yeah, once you have the old uh, thing out. Uh, thermostat out so this sits on the engine like this right so this is the top part of it so as i was told you know this was this goes in there first as a seal for the thermostat once that is set in there you sit the thermostat right on top of that then you put this little case in here right on top of it and as far as i know that's it right there now I had a little bit of a question because see on that housing the old seal is still in there right so I'm gonna put the new seal in so that's why I think the seal is supposed to go underneath that and lock it this way right so that looks about right to me but when it comes to this thermostat the seal is on top of it but you know as far as I know either or it shouldn't make that much difference so um so yeah i'm gonna follow that right there with the wall rings on the bottom of it because you know so like that's a nice little like spot for it to be so i'm gonna set that over there put this on top of it and go ahead and mount this back over there so yeah you also have this little o-ring right here and see these connectors this this is the o-ring that goes over there right so this is you know gotta be careful so you don't put sealant on top of this because this is the ground for your electronics you know these electronics so this connection from one housing to the other that makes your ground so you want to make sure that this is being touching really good and uh because of the condition of these caps because they are like pretty worn out and you get it to a certain spot right there I am gonna use some um, gasket sealant and I have doubled my gasket like see I sealed them together like two gaskets together so give me more cushioning so I can tie it up and everything should be just fine so alright guys that's it that was my overheating problem if you guys have any comments comment below if you think that I'm doing anything wrong please let me know too so I you know you know fix it from there but other than that, other than that uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys later.